days and weeks leading up to Christmas, the mantra is, spend and put it all on your credit card. All major credit cards offer some type of rewards program in order to entice us to buy now, pay later. This certainly is not limited to just the weeks leading up to Christmas, but throughout the year. Trouble is that when the next monthly bill from the credit card company shows up, the amount owed is, can be, and may be larger than you thought. So from then on, month by month, one works hard at paying the bill down. Trouble is that perhaps for the first month one's use of the credit card is tempered because one does not want to increase the debt. Yet, little by little, the excuse comes, I need this, I need that, and oh well, I used the credit card. So the debt increases a bit more and one is not further out of debt, but slides backwards into more debt, much or little. We become used to this way of living, so that over time we may think little of the debt we do owe. This is not limited to credit card users, since one may have taken a, taken a loan out for a vehicle, or years ago gotten a loan to buy a house and the monthly payments come due, and for a long time the actual debt has not decreased, but the interest is being paid on. Even in those times before credit cards, stores would allow people to buy on credit and pay it off later. So really, the truth of the matter is that debt has been a part of everyday life since perhaps the time of Adam and Eve. Who would not rejoice come January 1, or whenever your monthly bill arrives, if when you opened it, the balance due was zero? If regardless of how much you spent, how much further into debt you went, every month, every bill showed a balance of zero? I would think we would all welcome that, and be happy about it, talk about it, tell everyone we met, and knew about this amazing thing that happened to us. Well, it has, and on a far grander scale than we realize. With the words of the angels to the shepherds in the world, Christ is born, we see that the entire debt of our sins stands at zero. Whatever we owed God in the way of atonement for sin has been for all eternity removed. My debt is gone. It has been paid. And every day the balance is zero owed. Because Jesus is born and has borne the burden of my sins and now by the precious gift of faith given, this too is attributed to me as though I myself have paid it in full. What a great joy to be debt free each day, every day, because Christ my Lord is born to take away the curse and the debt of my sins.